The toxicology unit identifies substances taken internally into the body. The unit is divided into two major groups, alcohol and illegal substances. All evidence coming to the toxicology unit is automatically tested for alcohol content. To conduct this test requires only 50 microliters, or about three drops, of a suspect fluid that is placed into a vial with a small amount of liquid whose characteristics are known. The sealed vials are loaded into a test instrument known as a headspace gas chromatograph, where they are heated. Some of the mixture becomes a gas that collects in areas above the liquid called the headspace. This gas enters the chromatograph and travels through a long, flexible tube known as a column. Within the column are chemicals that sense and react with the gas components. A detector in the instrument determines the substances that elute or come off the column. The instrument can be programmed to separate 80 different substances, including the five common alcohols. Headspace testing is very sensitive and very accurate, but to ensure that no individual is wrongly accused, the test is performed with two samples on two independent instruments. The identified substances are documented graphically as a series of stepped plots. The entire process takes about eight minutes. Their results must agree within one one hundredth of a gram. If there is not exact agreement, the lower number is always reported to the requesting agency. All drug technology for the state is performed at this facility. Drug analysis is not performed automatically, except in auto deaths where one of the individuals is still living, in hit and run cases, and in criminal sexual assault cases. Otherwise, a specific request must be made. The protocol for analysis is a two-step process, screening, then confirmation. The first screening step determines if any drugs exist in the evidence. The test is conducted with the FPIA instrument, which stands for Fluorescence Polarization Immunoassay. A mixture is prepared containing a sample of the evidence and placed in the instrument. The specimen is exposed to antibodies and agents that bind with any of a group of controlled substances the instrument has been programmed to detect. The binding causes polarized light to be emitted. The instrument analyzes the light and records a positive or negative result. A negative report is given to the toxicologist who makes a judgment based on the circumstances of the case if further testing is merited. However, if the results are positive for a controlled substance, the evidence sample is sent to the next procedure. The procedure is done in a special extraction room using a method called solid phase extraction. This screening procedure separates the drugs from the blood or urine in which they were suspended. A liquid mixture containing samples of the evidence is poured into a tube called an extraction column. The column is different for each type of suspected drug. At the bottom of the column is a special absorbing material on which drugs adhere. Everything else in the specimen passes through to a holding tank. After the fluid in the column has dripped through, solvents are used to wash the drug from the absorbing material and into a test tube. Only a small, pure sample of the examined substance is needed, so the fluid is removed by heating in an instrument called an evaporator. The pure drug specimen is then taken to an instrument called a gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. This instrument is used for the confirmation test. The specimen is placed in the instrument with a blank on either side to isolate it from any other samples. As the specimen passes through the instrument, its molecules are bombarded with electrons, causing them to fragment into atoms and to release ions. A spectrum or graph is created which records the breakup of the molecules. Every drug has a distinctive signature spectrum unique to that drug. The toxicologist reviews the spectrum and compares it to a database of spectra to identify and confirm the drug. The results are considered hard evidence, which means it is evidence that is empirically confirmed without opinion. In the past six years, the caseload for the toxicology unit has increased 273 percent. 
It's an unfortunate reality, but the unit will continue to experience substantial growth for some time to come.